The new Food Network show, Chow House. It'll have you speak in Italian, right? <laughs> While you watch the competition heat up, take a look. You're going to be living together as a loving family, but you're going to be competing against each other in eight Tuscan-centric culinary challenges. The winner of this competition will be named Il Capo di Casa, or the head of the house. Nice. Your prize? It's an immersive culinary education where you will have the chance to train with Italian master chefs throughout all Italy. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Let's get oh it. Oh my God, is right. All right, and by our side this morning are two of the competitors who happen to be from our area. Please welcome Corey Becker and Matt Watson. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank, Thank you, for, Thank having you us. for having us. Yeah. So let's start from the very beginning. Tell us where you were from and how you got into cooking. Uh, I'm coming out of Bushwick, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. uh, I got started in cooking uh, basically my whole life. You know, I grew up with a single mom, so I had to you know do some cooking at home. Yeah. And then I went from. Uh, thinking I had to go to normal college and then realizing I could actually do other things and I dropped out, went to culinary school and it's all history from there. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Staten Island, if you couldn't tell, of course. <laughs> uh, and I just grew up in a big Italian family. Sundays were a tradition for us. Norna would wake up 8 o'clock in the morning, start cooking, get the sauce on the stove. And I've always loved it. It's just such a connection that yeah. always brings me back to home and my culture. So get the sauce on the stove. It's a slow cook. It's a slow, slow simmer. Cook. Okay. Don't rush it. It's, it's, it's a whole like day. It's a whole <laughs> and when they bring out the big pot, you know that's it. That's it. Yeah. So that's the meal for the week. <laughs> uh, all right. So talk about the series too, right? Because cooking competitions are tough. Yeah. Um, so what are some of the challenges? Let's go to you for this one. You know, the, you saw in the, the first challenge, we had that one-on-one -on -one situation. Every every cook for themselves. Uh, you know, and from there we just. We have various lessons that you know, these these Italian masters come, these known as teach us pasta, great butchers, and and everything's based off of that. It's based off tradition. Yeah. And you're go ahead. I think it's just it's really just immersing yourself in the whole experience. I mean, we're all ten random strangers. We don't know anything about what we're getting thrown in, and it's all about adaptability, really. Mm -hmm. And you're in Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're, talk about the pressure though to get it right if you're in the place where it's all where it all starts yeah especially we had that that massive villa you know in Tuscany it wasn't just a house it was a, a real tough it was a whole property yeah, right. you know, it was, it was yeah it was a real, <laughs> real rough living you yeah. know what I mean it's basically See, how long were you there someone has to do it we were there for, <laughs> we're there for a few weeks yeah a few weeks wow. yeah, so I mean he, he's talking about the villa but we also had to deal with the Tuscan terror chef Gabe yeah. he <laughs> literally grew up right outside where the villa was yeah. so if something wasn't correct he was right there to call you yeah, out yeah they were talking <laughs> yeah and Alex Gorishel Shelley is is clearly involved in the show, right? She's one of the hosts of the show. She's mm -hmm. very tough. Uh, by the way, just a side note, I once hosted an event for her and had to take questions from the audience, and, like, and she was like, let's, let's keep this moving. She's tough, I was yeah. like, oh, gosh, I mean, just, I'm just going to get the scared. questions. But what's it like to be around her? Because she's such, I mean, she's one of the best chefs in the world, yeah, really. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a little intimidating, you know, you coming up in this industry, especially in New York, you know, around chefs like that. But, I mean, she was, she's tough, but she's also incredibly kind yeah, and, and very and very mentoring yeah you know since the show we've stayed we've stayed close and you know I'm very grateful for yeah. her and chef Gabe you know right. both you, of them. I could I her? could tell you nothing could get past her it's amazing yeah, she would taste yeah. something and she could almost to the T say did you put about two sprays yeah. of parsley yeah. in here yeah, yeah. it's yeah. amazing her palate is very yeah. very it's, defined she is yeah. nothing's getting past her what wow. did you learn from her I learned a lot from her mostly to take a breath yeah. You know, she would tell me all the time, like, just relax, mm -hmm. you know, put a lot of pressure on yourself to compete. So just, just enjoy it. You're in this villa. You're once in a lifetime opportunity. So just, just cook, do you, mm -hmm. represent yourself. Right. I think definitely it's just putting confidence behind your dish. And no. sometimes too little or too much is, there's always that sweet spot. Don't yeah. overthink mm -hmm. it. Just finish it. You know, some of these cooking shows, it's, it's, it's so fast paced and it's so um, competitive. <laughs> A competition. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, more coffee, please. Uh, but you guys seem like there's camaraderie here, even yeah. though you are competing oh, against yeah. the show. Yeah. So kind of talk about the how you support one another along the way. Yeah, you know, you're 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 in these scenarios, right? You're in this house, you're all living together, competing, but you become very close. Yeah. You know, you're you're in that house. You do breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything together. Right. You know, so so Matt, you know, Preston, Justin, the four of us got very, very close mm -hmm. and mm. constantly supporting each other. Little off-camera pep talks. Yeah, you, know, you got this, bro. You know, things right, like right, that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> at, night, at night, we make like a little pillow for it. We all hang out <laughs> 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 review yeah, our recipes. Yeah, it's a good thing they didn't film in the house. <laughs> right. yeah. Well, speaking of recipes, talk about what you guys yes. have here. Yeah, go for it, Maddie. Uh, so what I have is a uh, ribolita. It is a uh, peasant Tuscan soup. 
and it oh. highlights uh, cannellini beans, Tuscan kale, mm -hmm. and then what you actually do to help thicken the soup is you have day old bread that you oh. incorporate in, and it's just finished with a little bit of uh, mm. pecorino toscano. So good. Wow, now do you use about half a teaspoon of pepper in this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> is she here? She's yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> that's, okay, delicious. that's delicious. Thank you, thank you. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Matt's good. He's no joke. And? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. And uh, yeah, we can't forget. We can't forget about Corey, of course. Yeah, yeah. Corey, what do you got? Corey, what do you got? Um, I also went with in the white bean direction. Well, uh, you know, we know what we'll be doing later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I would learn one thing in Tuscany, it's that it is very hot. Okay. You know, it is very hot. So nice I, I wanted so something cool. a little lighter and refreshing. So I went with a white bean Tuscan salad. So you have the cannellinis, mm. the chickpeas, mm. kale, artichoke hearts, tomato, and just a really nice uh, parsley and basil vinaigrette. Wow. Yeah, it's delicious. very textural, nice. very fresh. You know, that's the, that's meant to be eaten outside. Right. You know, nice hot day. Maybe this some... is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. we just have them wrapped so I can eat. <laughs> Are you guys both involved in the culinary scene here in New York? Uh, I am. I'm taking some time off for some health issues, but you know, I'm still very active. Okay. You know, doing some yeah. consulting and things and like that. And I have my own business, the Tailored Night. So what that's... I do is private events, private dinners, and. Yeah. Through COVID, I actually started doing in-house like cooking classes. Oh, nice. Wow. So we make fresh pasta, fresh mozzarella and burrata, oh, fresh beef. Oh man! So well, since okay. your family's Italian, right? Yeah. Did you have extra pressure, added pressure to do well in this uh, competition? So in the first episode, I had to make uh, pasta vongole. Was what I choose to make. So. I was nervous because if I know I did not get this right, my mom would kill me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the tough, tough, tough. <laughs> Toughest judge right there, right? Uh, both of you, thank you for coming in. Grazie. Yeah, thank you for thank having you us. Thank you for having us. Uh, and good luck, by the way, on Chow House, which airs Sunday nights on Food Network and streams the same day on Discovery Plus. Both of these dishes were fantastic. So yeah, good. Enjoy it. So I'll be eating.